Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe so you get notified when we drop more content. In this video, we're going to learn how to disable a trigger in a production org via a change set. This is the easiest method if you need to disable a trigger or update code in your production org. It's important to note this process is for simple triggers and Apex code. If your code is complex, then you may need to consult with a developer and use other tools. The first step is to log into the Sandbox org, where the same trigger should be located. Click the gear icon, click Setup, type Trigger, and click on Apex Trigger under Custom Code. Locate the trigger and click Edit. Uncheck the Is Active checkbox. Click Save. You can also alter the code to make it inactive. Go to Outbound Change Sets, create a new change set, and add the disabled trigger. Click Upload, select the production org, and click Upload again. Depending on the size of the trigger and org, it may take some time for the change set to appear in the production org. Log into the production org, click the gear icon, click Setup, type Inbound, Click Inbound Change Sets, and the change set from the Sandbox org should be available under the Change Sets Waiting Deployment Related list. Validate the change set if needed to be safe. Otherwise, click Deploy. Select the test needed, click Deploy, and click OK on the dialog box to confirm changes. The changes may take some time, but since our example change set is small, it will happen quickly. Go to the trigger in the org, and notice the status is now set to inactive. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need full system administrator permissions. If you are interested in disabling a trigger and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.